Besides being considered two of the greatest singers of their generations, Celine Dion and Mariah Carey are two acclaimed artists who have amassed huge fortunes. But have you ever wondered who has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a heated battle between Celine Dion and Mariah Carey. Extravagant spending. Both singers love to look their best, but which one has the most extravagant expenses? Something Celine doesn't really skip on is shoes. In fact, she is addicted to collecting the most different models of shoes and heels to match her looks. The singer has already told that she has more than 10,000 pairs of shoes, having a wardrobe just to keep her collection. And certainly, Celine Dion has already spent a fortune on all these shoes. Besides, the star is always wearing great bags. One of the models that she owns in several colors is the Dyer Dyer Ever, an elegant and spacious bag that costs around $3,900. But certainly the most luxurious brand that Celine uses a lot is Hermes, having the Birkin and Kelly models. This is one of the most expensive and exclusive brands of today, which has models that, depending on the material and size, can cost over $100,000. Another significant expense of the singer was certainly her lavish and grand wedding, which was even broadcast on Canadian television. In 1994, she married the musician and businessman responsible for her career, René Gillot, who was 26 years older than Celine. The bride wore a voluminous wedding dress adored with a six-meter-long veil, whose lace and crystals would have required 1,000 hours of work. The look was accompanied by a mythical headdress made of 2,000 Swarovski crystals, and some sources say that the celebration cost in total around $500,000. Meanwhile, According to some sources, Maria keeps an expenditure equal to $20,000 to keep her hair and makeup always well done, regardless of the moment. As a true fan of luxury brands, Maria oozes glamour wherever she goes, always being photographed with a different Hermes Birkin bag, a luxury brand with bags that can cost over $100,000. One thing Maria is very proud of is her collection of luxury shoes that occupy a huge closet in her house containing brands such as Christian Lobouten, Jimmy Choo, Yves Saint Laurent, and even Giuseppe Zanai, which must be close to a million-dollar value. If she is dressed up, her pets have to be too. She spends on average an estimated $30,000 per year to keep her puppies in a grooming salon and spa. Another great example was when her personal friend leaked in an interview that the celebrity spends $100,000 per month for exotic flowers in her home. Also, the singer is very selective when it comes to choosing a hotel. One of her most expensive vacations was in the Dominican Republic, where she went with her children to celebrate her success in music at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Publicana, a super comfortable resort with many entertainment alternatives, where a daily rate can exceed $5,000. With all this love for luxury, Maria has also stayed at the Corinthia Hotel in London, where there is a super two-story suite available for $13,000 a night. Point for both of them. Cars. Both artists invest a lot of money in nice vehicles for their garages. But which one has the best cars? Celine Dion, for example, once had an extremely rare car that is loved by classic car collectors and can cost around $70,000. One of the vehicles she has been seen using is a Cadillac Escalade a family-sized car that has top-notch interior trim in addition to its rugged exterior look. And to buy this car in its most complete version, you have to pay about $100,000. Another car that Celine seems to like a lot is her Mercedes-Benz S350, a luxurious and sophisticated setting, ideal for those who do not give up comfort. No wonder it costs around $110,000. But no doubt the singer's favorite car is the Maybach 62, a super luxurious, rare and exclusive model considered one of the best vehicles in the world. With an exquisite interior featuring leather and real wood paneling, this car costs around $500,000. Maria, on the other hand, likes sporty cars. One of Maria's cars is her Mercedes-Benz SLK 200, an old Mercedes convertible that the singer used for personal use and with friends, and that can be found for around $50,000. She also once owned a Porsche Cayenne in pink, a car that reaches a top speed of 180 miles per hour and accelerates from 0 to 60 miles in 4.1 seconds, costing around $75,000. The singer openly posted driving a Lamborghini Huracan. This luxury sports model is a state-of-the-art convertible made for those who like to speed, 
and can cost up to $250,000. Another car Mariah has been spotted in is the Rolls-Royce Dawn, a luxury car with a very pompous ride that can reach 155 miles per hour, going from 0 to 60 in about 5 seconds, and the price of this machine is approximately $370,000. The singer has already been spotted with her Mercedes Maybach 62S, a very elaborate set and made just for the safe transportation of the singer in everyday engagements, whose price is estimated at $400,000. Considering the sum of the price of the cars, Mariah Carity wins this round. Point for her, real estate. When it comes to good places to live, both celebrities don't skimp on luxury and comfort. But who owns the most valuable property? Mariah, for example, currently lives with her children in a mansion in the southern colonial area of Sandy Springs, Atlanta. The 12,570-square-foot property caters to all the singer's luxuries and is in a private area of the region. The eight rooms of the house are spacious and very well decorated. With no lack of light or comfort, each of them composed of a different style that pleased the singer's eyes. For the leisure of Maria and her children, the mansion has a game room, a private gym, a movie room, and a tennis court. In the backyard part, a large pool extends with pompous bathing chairs into a large wooded yard, perfect for the kids to play or have an intimate party with friends. But recently, the singer decided to list her property, asking for $6.5 million on the sale of this home. Maria also sold another large 10,600-square-foot mansion that she lived in with her ex-husband on Antella Road in the Beverly Hills area. Looking at the facade, you can see that the singer's old mansion follows the American style of architecture, being built of brick but with a classic touch of luxury. The most striking feature of this mansion is for sure the huge backyard with a huge and very ostentatious swimming pool. With bathing chairs all around, the space opens up to a huge grassy yard for the children to play in. In terms of leisure, the exquisite mansion still had a huge movie room with comfortable and well-laid-out upholstery and a complete gym, including a basketball court and boxing equipment for the singer. The exact purchase price is not known, but the couple sold the for $9 million. Celine, for her part, owns a house in Henderson, Nevada. There is not much public information about this home of the singer, but it is known that the property of approximately 8,000 square feet is in a gated community and features a beautiful outdoor pool overlooking the lakes. In an interview that the account made on her social networks, it is possible to observe her shit all-white kitchen with glass-fronted cabinets and stainless steel hardware. In other posts, you can notice her living room with mirrored shelves, another very clean environment with a grand piano and cozy fireplaces throughout the house. It is not known how much Celine Dion's house currently costs, but some sources say the property is worth around $4.5 million. Dion's other residence is a charming French Norman-style chateau located on a 19-acre private island in Montreal in the Canadian state of Quebec. Built in 2001, the four-story, 24,000-square-foot castle is clad in stone, giving it a historic medieval feel. From the entrance hall, you can see the property's classic architecture with a majestic spiral staircase, luxurious chandeliers, and red curtains. All the rooms have antique furniture with details in a golden color that resembles gold and high-value wood, elevating the refinement of the rooms. The property has not only one dining room, but several. One of them is quite peculiar, with a rounded ceiling all covered in stones with a table for 10 people. In total, the house has six bedrooms, all of them spacious and cozy without losing their sumptuousness. Outside, there is a swimming pool for the singer to cool off in the hottest days. In 2016, Celine Dion decided to sell her medieval castle, pocketing at the time about $25.5 million. Celine also once owned a real vacation resort that resembles a resort-style water park. The luxurious property was inspired by the Bahamas, being custom-designed and built in 2010 to satisfy Celine Dion and her husband Rene Angelo's desire for privacy. Located on exclusive Jupiter Island, the 5.7-acre oceanfront lot property boasts panoramic views of the Atlantic Ocean. The 10,000-square-foot main house comprises five bedrooms, with the master suite being extremely spacious and cozy, complete with a fireplace for the cooler days. A formal dining room has a vaulted ceiling and a gourmet kitchen with a family room or just a few of the unique features of the open-concept residence. On all sides, there are several floor-to-ceiling windows, offering beautiful landscaping 
and a good integration between the outside and inside areas. The property is a true holiday complex, having two guest houses to accommodate Celine Dion's visitors. The outdoor area is the highlight of the property, starting with the open-air fireplace with a structure that goes into the pool. The sunset in this environment is even more special.